Friday, July the 8th, I think. Outside, can you hear the cows chewing on the grass? I think we may get rain tonight. Praise God if we can get rain. Many of my off-grid friends is calling this the killing heat wave of summer. Cows are heading up the hill. Over here is the highway, but it's making me so sick. Most of the time those trucks going up and down 24-7. The new RV that moved in next to me. Here's some more pictures of the cow. Um, you really make, I tried to get some of the sun shade up, but still not got the rain shade up. So I probably will be raining on tonight. Oh well, I'm still blessed and thankful. I have much more than a lot of people does. Many people are cramped and living in their car or their van or their truck. I couldn't really imagine what that would be like. At least I'm blessed to still be beside the tiny house. At least I can come in and fix my meals and at least get away from the heat for a little bit. Well, there went the cows. They all went up through the hill. Well, over and out now. Welcome to another chapter of my life. Well, I decided it might be a bit easier if I just tried to do a video chat. Oh, but I, I update. Today is July 17, Sunday. I woke up at 8.15 a.m and walk into tiny house to fix me something to eat. Indoor temperature was 90 degrees, humidity 50. I went to bed at 10 p.m. last night. Did not even wake up to pee. Usually I wake up to pee up to six times during the night. So that must be proof of I'm improving and my health from sleeping outside in the tent and beginning and being farther away from the things that my body seem is no longer able to tolerate. Well, sorry if I'm, my hand is not steady today. I'm not very good, but I'm trying to show what it looks like in the tiny house. This is the main part of the house. You can see the sun will hit this tin roof it can get up to almost over a hundred degrees, which seems to be affecting me in a very bad way. My meter shows that it's pretty high from the fans, so I'm placing the fans and everything further away from me. And I will set up here and then I'll show you if I can get a lamp. This is the main part of the house. And then turn the lamp over here. This is where I have turned the bathroom now instead of my sleeping corner. The bathroom is now my sitting corner when I come into the tiny house. See, there is a ceiling up there. My friend bought these tent um, wall panels, whatever they're called. I'll turn the light so you can see it. Behind the panels, this is a great tip for anybody that's being affected by electric and wiring. You can get like this silver bubble wrap of kind of insulation from Walmart or um, Amazon sells them at a pretty good price. They come in long strips and you can cut them. But um, my friend found these little wall panels. Try it back up a little bit where you see the wall panels. And these wall panels are really great to like place things behind it. And this is where Tigger and me will come into the bathroom during the daytime for sitting here because then I just usually turn out lights and then the lights if I'm meeting, like over here, I have my little light that I can plug in that's further away from me, a little fan that's further away, 
Um, so, that's a little bit of what the tiny house is looking like. I will, so, one day I will figure out how to get on YouTube and do a YouTube video. A better update. So, as you can see, that's why it's really hot on this side. Well, I'll wait it out for now. Hope this turn out okay. Tigger Chaos is fastly asleep. Can you hear him groaning and purring? I remember years ago I had a bunny rabbit. And in the summer months a friend told me to give him a cold frozen bottle of water to lay on. Well, I remember that and Tigger seems to have accepted the cold ice water bottle that's frozen. He's waiting here purring. I will be quiet for a bit to see if you can hear him praying.